Right, today I'm going to be showing you this area of Gale Crater. Now, in my previous video, I showed you the structures on Mount Sharp, which I named about eight or nine years ago, the Forbidden City. I called it the Forbidden City because NASA never talk about it. Okay, that's the only reason I called it that. I've been showing parts of it for many years now, from above, from on the ground, from multiple souls, many of which I showed in that highlight video that I just published a few days ago. Okay, now the problem is with these structures on the ground or on the mountain is that they're very hard to see up here because it's very bright, this material, sandstone material up here. And the structures are cut from the same material. So when you zoom in, they're almost impossible to see. And they're very pale, like this one here. You can see this one here. So what I did, I did a bunch of gigapans of this area. And some of them I've darkened right up for you. So that we can see the actual structures on the ground. And on the mountain. This is a highly contrasted image. This one here, this is HC3. Okay, that means high contrast, number three. And you can actually see them quite clearly here. There's a, there's a large wall here. Okay, if I go full screen, there's a long wall here. Okay, with a right angle. There's a whole bunch of structures here. Multiple structures here, you can see them here, like a grid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's multiple structures in there, right? And then down here, we've got parts of the Forbidden City where the structures have been blown away, but what we can see are some of the foundations here, the square one here. Now, I've shown a lot of this before, and a lot of this is where those structures are that I showed in my last video, okay? Along here, from here to here. They go right round the mountain, but this is the main part that we've seen so far from the rover. And I've done multiple videos about this before, so you can go and check those out. There are multiple videos on the Forbidden City going right back to 2014 and 15. Okay? Showing the, the pyramids, domes, towers, blocks, and hangars, and all sorts of crazy structures up here. Okay? But today, I'm going to concentrate on something else. Because up here, to the north of that, we have this area here. And in the ground, in these highly contrasted satellite images, you can see there are loads more structures just here. Now, this one's quite dark, but there is a lighter one. Which I'll show you first. And just here, I've marked it with a big kind of rectangle here. There are multiple structures in the ground. But much like on the mountain, until you add contrast to the image, they don't show very well, okay? Now, when you zoom in here, you will see that I've marked a lot of these shapes in the ground. And all you have to do is click on the right side here, and then this tick at the top, the notes list, you can switch them on and off, either individually or all at once, okay? That's all we've got to do. Now, if I zoom in to this one here, I'll switch those on and off for you. You can see that there is a rectangle here. There's an interesting shape here. There's a wall here, just here, going across. And when you zoom in, you'll find that these are huge structures. And there's loads of them. There's a really nice one up here. You see a structure here and there's a whole bunch of them down here but I've only marked some of them because it gets very cluttered otherwise and you've got multiple rectangle structures and different shaped structures in the ground and you can see when you start looking there are rectangles all over this area okay and they're usually quite dark like these here if I deselect that one you can see there's a rectangle just here And there are multiple complex structures in the ground. Very similar to some of the ones that I've shown before in places like Jezero Crater. In fact, I found the city in Jezero Crater before NASA even landed 
the new rover there. Now, if you look closely, in the central area, we have a big rectangle here. We have a long wall here. And we have multiple rectangular structures. Okay? You can see some of them here I've marked, not all of them. And what I'll do, at the end of the video, I'll put clips of some of this stuff in because it's hard for me to show you this. There's so much going on here. It's a highly complex area. And we have a lot of natural features, but with artificial structures kind of down below, in between. Now, I think what we're looking at here are foundations, largely, that are buried. And when you turn the contrast up in these images, like I've done, the light can penetrate through the sand on the ground, because sand is not a solid, as I've said a hundred times before. When you turn the contrast up, what you're doing is you're starting to see the structures just below the sand and the buried structures down below, some of which may go down two or three stories or more, okay? That's what we've got here. A lot of this stuff is heavily buried, it's heavily damaged, these are ruins, these were destroyed many thousands of years ago. But you can see that there are large structures here, including this one here. Look at this long wall here. We've got rectangular structures here with walls. Right? This was one of my favourites here. Look at this. I'll try and centre it for you. There we are. Look at this. It's kind of a rhomboid shape. So a lot of them are not rectangular. As I've said before, uh, the Martians seem to have built more natural shaped structures. Lots of them are domes, but they do have pyramids and ziggurats and uh, rectangular structures like we do on Earth. But in this particular area, as in Jezero Crater as well, they use the topography of the ground and dig into the ground and make structures in the ground. Okay. And that's what we're seeing here. You can actually see this structure here, look. And they're, they're all over this area. And it's really hard for me to get it across. But this is the main part. Now in this one, this one's even darker. And you can see some of them better. You can actually see the actual shapes better. And they go right up here. If you look to the center here, there's a line that goes right up through the middle. And there's another line that goes right across here. These are all over the place. Absolutely littered with them. So what I'm going to do, rather than show you this like this, it's very hard to get this across because unless you look at the different gigapans and flip between them, it's very hard to work out what you're looking at. Like this here. So when you see this lighter, you can't really see the shapes of the rooms as well until you go to the darker one here you can actually see these rooms inside now what i'll do is i'll use the hover zoom magnifier and try and point them out that way you've got a rectangular structure here we have a wall coming across here we've got internal rooms and multiple structures up here as well now i've also got here i've got um, a curiosity location map and uh, you can see a lot of these structures in this as well. And look at this line coming down. We've got a big rectangle. We've got a line going across here, a line coming down, a line going across here to about here. So these are like huge rectangular sections in the ground, which are full of structures. But in this color image, they don't show as well in some parts, but you can see that these are walls and there are rectangles. There's a square there, look. There are loads of squares and rectangles in the ground in between these structures. Now these are walls and structures. This is highly complex stuff on the ground and the only real way to, to look at these properly is to use the black and white images that I've got and compare them back to back. So I'll have links to all these in the description and you can flick between these and some of these things show up better in this one, some are better in this one and some are better in the bright one, okay? And some are better in the color on this curiosity map. You can see them here. But when you start looking, you're gonna find hundreds of them. It's absolutely insane. But this was my favorite, really. 
And uh, let me turn those back on. This one down here was really cool. Just here. So they're not all rectangular. Some are sort of rhomboid. Some are square. Some are rectangular. Some are semicircular. They built in between a sort of underground city by the looks of it. And what we're looking at here are the foundations and remains of some of that city, heavily buried. But some of these walls are still intact and can be seen from the air, but not so well from the ground, okay? Because the, the rover actually drove right round all this stuff. The rover landed up here on the right and drove right round this stuff to here and then crossed over the lake bed to here, down here. So we've only seen a lot of this from the edge. And now we're looking at it from above. You can actually see what these things are. Check this out. So, it's very, like I said, it's very hard for me to get this across. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of clips in for you. Because my voice is going. I've got really bad allergies. And uh, my voice keeps going. So, thanks for watching everybody. Check out the clips coming up in a minute. Check out the links below in the description. I will see you soon.